Well, we have uh, earlier we told you about Carice Jackman, who met a woman that was uh, without some essentials in this storm. Well, tonight she has an update. All right, so ma'am, right after you, we spoke with you, maybe about 20 minutes ago, we got a text message from our digital producer that says, hey, we just got a call from the administrator of the medical center in Gentilly, who wants to get an oxygen tank to the lady without power. You interviewed a little bit. Uh, his name is Malcolm and his number gave me, gave me his number. What okay. do you think about that? Thank him so much. I really, I'm blessed. I'm just feel blessed. Thank y'all so much. It's hard. It's really hard. And when y'all left, my cousin came and bought me this one. That's amazing. And that can last me to, you know, tonight. You know, it'll last until the morning or something if the lights don't come back on. How good is it, is it to know that, you know, neighbors see it and want to yeah. help you out? It's a blessing. It really is a blessing. It really is. And I'm so thankful that y'all stopped to help me, you know, to talk to me, to find out what was going on. And y'all got some stuff rolling around up in here, you know. And it's just, if my car went have went underwater, Wednesday, I would have been able to, to leave, but I just couldn't go. You know, I didn't have a way. Yeah, so not only are you dealing with the power outage, you're dealing with no, no transportation. No transportation, and it's hard. It's really hard. When the storms come, you know you want to evacuate, but you can't. It's hard. It really is. And I really appreciate y'all, and thank y'all so much. Absolutely. Anything and Malcolm, like thank you.